Hello, my name is Nell and I have things to say about disability, chronic illness and mental health. I live with all of these things and in my videos on my channel, I talk about them. I talk about them to reach out to people who live with these things as I do and to let them know that they are not fighting these battles alone. But I also talk about them to raise awareness and um, bring education to people who might not have any understanding of what these things are like. If that sounds like something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel. Come back every Wednesday when I upload new videos. Let me know what you think of my videos in the comments section, and if you know of somebody who would benefit from or enjoy one of my videos, please feel free to share it with them. I like to think of myself as being fairly independent. I do a lot for myself, and I think for myself all the time. But I am often confronted with a lot of the ways in which I am not independent at all, and it is painful to be confronted with those things. Even just a simple thing such as, I can't leave the house myself. I mean, I can, I can physically open the door and drive my wheelchair out of the door. I could even go down the street if I were brave, but I don't because if I got stuck in a gutter or something, then I would just be stuck. I couldn't get out myself. I can't drive a car. So I can't duck down to the store by myself. Even if somebody drove me to the store and dropped me off at the grocery store, I can't lift a two litre bottle of milk by myself. So I couldn't do the groceries by myself because I can't lift all of those things and put them in the grocery store. In, in the trolley. A lot of things I just can't do for myself. If I'm out somewhere, I need to ask for help, whether it's from the person I'm with or from a stranger. Constantly asking for help. I can independently, proudly, with my head held high, drive into a building and then have to say, can you open the door, please? I can arrive somewhere looking very, very strong and, and, and proud and then say, can you pass this down from a shelf, please? It does make my pride take a hit because I think, how independent am I really? How independent am I really? Does independence of mind really count for all that much when I have to constantly ask for help? It's just something that I grapple with every day because I can want to, I can want to lovingly prepare dinner for my partner, but I have to ask his help in getting a saucepan out. <laughs> I can want to do something nice for somebody else, but I have to ask for help in doing that. I can't surprise people with things because I need to ask their help in doing it. How independent am I really? Just because I'm independent here and here... It's hard being trapped. It's hard having so much independence here and still being trapped by my body, by my circumstances. And I think that's something that a lot of people in wheelchairs would relate to. We are so independent. We are fiercely independent. In our, in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls. And yet, our body is just getting in the way. That's all. That's all for this one. This was just... I had to let it out. How independent can I be when I can't drive to the store? Yeah, that's all for this one. Be sure to check out my TikTok and Instagram. They're fun. I hope I see you in the next one. All right. Bless.